When we're planning a PD, we always start with the goals. What are we trying to accomplish? What do we want teachers to understand or be able to do when they leave the PD? Starting with the end in mind allows us to backward plan and create a really meaningful learning experience. I've been to PD where the goal hasn't been clear. It might not feel right that you're there. You might feel like, oh, I shouldn't be at this training. And if you start from a place that you think everybody is and they're not, there's confusion. Making the goals clear to your participants is important. Telling people what they can expect to get out of the PD lets them know that their time won't be wasted and gives them a reason to pay attention and participate. Particularly with professional development, I think it's important that there's a plan, there's a goal, there's an agenda. That you have to create an opportunity for everybody to be on the same page with information so that we can all walk together. Also keep in mind that there can be many different kinds of goals. Some goals might be things you want your group to know or understand. Some might be about things you want them to be able to do. Other goals might be about how you want your participants to feel, such as boosting confidence with new skills, reducing anxiety about changing standards, or creating a feeling of community within the group. One really important thing to think about is setting the right amount of goals. One of the most common mistakes that PD facilitators make is trying to accomplish way too much in a short amount of time. There's this tendency in professional development to rush through as much content. It wasn't clear how that was gonna help me to teach my students. Learning takes time, and this is just as true for adults as it is for kids. Keeping your goals to a reasonable scope will allow time for meaning making and productive group talk, and will also reduce the stress level of your participants. And if you don't have that, it's just... You're going to retain less information afterwards. The outcomes became really unclear in them trying to do too much. Once you have your goals figured out, you can use them to guide your planning and help keep your PD on track. Throughout your planning process, refer back to your goals to help you make decisions. As you finalize your plans, check over your agenda and make sure that all the pieces of your plan are related to your goals and that all of your goals are being addressed. I think it's really strong when presenters give um, those who attend an opportunity to reflect. The ones that are good are the ones that do um, respect our time as teachers. And so that practice piece is what really makes it valuable and then makes it much more easy to implement when we get into the classroom. Check out the planning tools on our website to help you get started with this. We have a goal setting tool that will help you think about what you want to accomplish in your workshop and a planning tool to help you lay out your agenda and align your plan with your goals.